people are on high alert after recent sightings of an insect known as the kissing bug. Now, these bugs sometimes carry a disease that has the potential to be life-threatening if left untreated. Tonight, WSLS 10's Bethany Teague talks to the experts about the risks for Virginians. The eastern cone nose, otherwise known as the kissing buck. It feeds um, on humans. Fear, even paranoia, broke out after the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and other outlets released statements saying the kissing bug is making its way through a number of southern states. Some of these insects carry a disease called Chagas, which can be fatal to humans if untreated. So should Virginians be worried? 29-year Virginia Tech entomologist Eric Day says no. I think it would be a very rare event to get the, the Chagas disease and, and or that, that particular carrier of it here. This bug is common in Central and South America, but rare in the United States. Day says because the kissing bug resembles so many other types of insects that are plentiful in Virginia, people often bring in false alarms to his identification lab. In fact, in 29 years, Day has only had three actual kissing bugs brought to the lab. The kissing bug can be differentiated often by its pinkish red markings along its sides. Those spots along the edge. They tend to bite on or near the face while a human is sleeping. But even if a person is bitten and contracts chagas, it doesn't have to be a death sentence. If you have any unusual symptoms, to, to see your doctor and, and they can prescribe a treatment. Day says it's important to be aware of any bugs that come into your home. If you think you do have a kissing bug, you can bring it to your county extension office to be identified. In Blacksburg, Bethany T, WSLS 10.